Hi everyone, welcome to this brief update video this evening. I hope you're doing good. I hope you have been enjoying your Friday. But we're looking at what is happening in the Caribbean. So uh, this is the wide infrared satellite view. We can see there is some activity over Africa. And Northern South America is also quite active this evening. But look at the Caribbean. Thanks to a trough in the area, we've got a lot of thunderstorms, a lot of heavy rain in some areas. Uh, earlier today, there was quite a bit of thunderstorm activity and even some heavy rain in parts of Jamaica. And then other areas that have been rain deprived, such as the ABC Islands, have received some rainfall or maybe receiving rainfall as I speak. You can let me know in the comments. And then... Going toward Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and even the Lesser Antilles, we see a lot of this activity moving through. So again, there is a trough in the area and it is helping to enhance the rain and thunderstorm activity across the region. So heading through today, even into tomorrow as well, there could be some additional periods of very heavy rain, which may trigger flooding. And it's likely that some areas have already experienced some level of inundation. But uh Let's take a look at the forecast. So this is what Euro is showing as we're going to be heading into the weekend. So those green shadings you're seeing, even the spots of yellows that may pop up, are indicative of moisture, the average precipitation rate. So this trough is going to be loitering for the most part and moving out. And we see that some moisture still remains, especially across parts of the Greater Antilles going through early next week to the middle of the week. And I mean, May is really when the rainy season kicks in. And, you know, some areas were forecast to receive below average rain, others above average rain. But overall, we start to see an increase in rainfall for the Caribbean as we head into May and throughout uh, through the hurricane season, which is June to November. So next month is the official start of hurricane season, but it is certainly possible that we could see something try to form sometime in May. I mean, conditions are only going to get more and more conducive as we head into the coming weeks. But we've got that trough in the area and it is uh, what is enhancing rain for the Caribbean right now. So as I said, some areas may receive some additional showers, uh, especially in the northeastern Caribbean, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Lesser Antilles, even the ABC Islands as well. There could be some additional rain and some of that may even result in flooding. So please be mindful of that and please do not take any unnecessary risks. Now, as we quickly take a look at the rainfall forecast for the next uh, 72 hours. So uh, this goes through Monday, the 6th of the month. And we can see some of these colorful shadings expected to uh, be around, which are indicative of rainfall amounts, probably up to two inches, maybe two and a half inches in some spots across the Northern Caribbean, some sections of Cuba, maybe just over an inch or so for sections of Jamaica. Uh, Hispaniola would have that higher chance of rain, even parts of the Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and the Northern Leeward Islands, such as Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barthelemy. Seba, St. Eustatia, St. Kitts and Nevis, even Antigua, Barbuda, Montserrat, those areas may receive some decent rain, and the ABC Islands as well. But the, uh, the bulk of that is because of that system moving through right now. Again, that trough. Northern South America will also be active over the next few days. We're seeing those very vibrant shadings of purples, indicating rainfall amounts probably up to four inches or so in some areas and then the pacific coast for some of those central american territories may also be quite active but of course i'll continue to keep you guys posted on all that is happening on a daily basis so that is what i wanted to share with you this evening uh, with that trough and all that associated activity moving through the caribbean and by the way this is not expected to materialize into anything to say okay it may become a depression it, beco uh, it may become a named storm that's not expected however because of the thunderstorms associated with it, there could be some of those winds really kicking up with those thunderstorms and there could be a very quick, heavy downpour because, you know, that is what is associated with some of these low pressure systems. However, this is not expected to develop, but it, uh, it should not be underestimated still because, I mean, as I mentioned, there could be some periods of heavy rain which trigger flooding but as i said i'll keep you posted guys and i hope you found this short video to be very informative but if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise